Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Danae Danny and I'm Danny Willis. And today I'm just going to be doing a q and A. I've been getting a little bit, uh, some questions from my Instagram. So you guys been DMing me and stuff like that. So I just want to answer them here for everyone to see. So um, first question is what's my major? So my major is kinesiology. I'm a kinesiology major. Someone asked also, um, why did I major in kinesiology? I was a powerlifter, I'm sure you guys know this, back in high school and I just really enjoyed the experience of weightlifting and I got really heavy into like fitness and just like exercising. I was always active but powerlifting is what really got me into weightlifting. I was a cheerleader before that and then um, so I was used to like lifting like people, but this time I went to weight. So it was really different for me. My dad didn't expect it. He was just like, I didn't expect you to like this. And, but he would come and support me, go to all my powerlifting, some of my powerlifting events. And so did my mom. She was almost there for like, I feel like she was there for every powerlifting competition I had. So it was really a big deal for me. And it just really shocked my family, but I really enjoyed it. I'm no longer a powerlifter, but I still weight train and maybe one day I'll go back to competing. But as of right now, no thank you. <laughs> you know when I came to orientation and the professors were describing kinesiology and all the careers you can do with kinesiology, my mom was like, this sounds like you, like this is you, Danny. Like kinesiology is for you. And so um, that's why I really did it because I loved it and I feel like it fit with me so perfectly, like the degree plan and um, just the careers that, uh, that comes with it is what I wanted to do. So that's why I joined up, uh, decided to major in kinesiology. Um, what are my hobbies? I like to rock climb. I also like to dance a little bit here and there. I haven't gone dancing in a really long time. Um, but yeah, I like to dance, I like to rock climb, I like to go for walks, um, kind of like outdoorsy. Um, I like water sports, so, uh, no powerlifting, water sports like paddleboarding, kayaking, canoeing, I like to do those as well. I haven't done that in a while either. Um, I feel like that's pretty much it. And I watch a lot of movies, so, watch a lot of movies here and there, um, travel a little bit here and there too. When was the last time? The last time I traveled somewhere, I think it was my trip to California and that was during summer. During the summer I went to California. So do I have any siblings? Uh, yes, I have three siblings, I'm the oldest. And I have two brothers and one sister. Um, I have two siblings that live in California. They're on my dad's side. And then I have one sibling that's on my mom's side. Um, I have a sister. She's a senior in high school right now. And then I also have a brother who's also a senior in high school. And then I have another brother who graduated high school. So yeah, two of them live in California. One lives in Port Arthur with my mom and in my hometown. So, um, have you ever broken a bone or had stitches? So I never broke, uh, never broken a bone before, but I have I had stitches before. So, um, when I was little, I used to like to stand on the, on the tub. You know, the part you have to step over to get out of the tub. I would stand on that part and um, one day it was just slippery and I fell and I bust my chin open. So yeah, I had to get stitches right here at the bottom of my chin. And um, the crazy thing is that my brother ended up busting his chin too, like busting his chin open. And um, his was kind of similar to mine. My mom told him not to do, like to do um, that. But um, he didn't do exactly what I did to bust my chin open. But he was like in my mom's jacuzzi and he was like sliding up and down, like pushing himself up and down the tub. And he, I guess it just hit him on the chin and he busted his chin open as well. So my brother and I have the same 
chin like the stitches under our chin right here like I don't know <laughs> like what's what's our deal with busting our chin open but yeah I have stitches like I had stitches like placed here under my chin but now you can't even tell like it's just a little scar right here but yeah so that's my story about getting stitches <laughs> Have I ever been in love? Yes, I've been in love before, but you know, things don't work out as you think it would, as you, things don't work out all the time. So, and that's okay. Like you just gotta beat yourself up and continue to move on. And you know, cause that's what life is about is continuing to move on and just learning from the, the experience. Okay, so going on to some other questions here. So, the last person I messaged, who was the last person I messaged? The last person I messaged was my friend Savannah. I asked her to help me with this Q&A, so thank you Savannah, and she did. And we also were talking about like some homework assignment that we really didn't understand in our class. And then after her, before her, I'm sorry, before her was my mom. And she was just like sending me some pictures of my family and stuff because they got together today to go to Moody Gardens and they do this we usually do it every year but I couldn't make it this uh, year because I was just so busy with school and stuff so she was like sending me pictures of the kids and like uh, their experience there and like the um, the aquarium and stuff like that so I really missed that and I wish I could have gone to uh, Moody Gardens with them because um, I just feel like I need a break from school like I need to like take my mind off of everything but also I feel like I just need to buckle down and just get this over with because it's my last one thank you Jesus okay uh the last person I FaceTime really today like I didn't mean to it was on accident I FaceTime my friend Savannah like I sent her a message or like I was reading our messages or something like that and while I was in the process of like um, leaving Walmart and driving back to school, uh, like I was just getting into my car and stuff, and I accidentally pressed FaceTime, and so that was the first, that was the last person I FaceTime. Um, but it was on accident. We really didn't talk long, and um, so yeah, I hanged up the phone. And then the, before her, the last person, uh, the other person. I mess well FaceTime was Musa. He is a freshman here at, at Stephen F. Austin. He is also a YouTuber and so like um at the time he FaceTimed me, he was wondering about um um resumes for a job fair that we had at the rec and I was like interviewing people at the rec uh it's like for positions at the rec and so he was just wondering like what should be on the resume and stuff like that what should he um what should he mention what should he wear and then we probably also talked about like some youtube videos he wanted to work with me and so um we just been like talking back and forth about like doing youtube videos and also at the time he was wondering about like what should he put in his resume so yeah that was pretty much it i don't facetime people that often i'm not really a big into facetiming like i just feel weird when i facetime people so if i facetime you it's probably an accident because it's not like me to facetime people so yeah um the last person i called the last person i called was my mom because like I said, all my family got together uh, today and I just wanted to see what, um, how everybody was doing and also like if the kids enjoy themselves. She takes like my cousins and then also my neighbor's kid, she takes him too to go to Moody Gardens and we do it like almost every year. So I was just like, I wanted to see how they were doing and I just missed them because I couldn't come this time so um yeah so i've had messaged her to tell her about ask her about that and then i also had told her about my experience with my neighbors my neighbors are usually really loud and um so who is my current celebrity crush my current celebrity crush is idris i don't know his last name but i just think he is so handsome like he is so so handsome um and then his accent oh my goodness you guys his accent is so cute but um yeah and i don't know he's tall like i like tall guys and um 
I don't think he's really big, but I like tall guys and big guys. Tall and big is my move. And then I also like, you know, of course, like them to be muscular. Like I feel like I'm a muscular girl, like I'm a muscular woman. So I want my man to have muscles as well. And then I just like a tall guy because I'm short and I don't want to be with a short guy. I feel like that's the only older guy like I would like date because I don't know. I don't, I usually don't date like really old guys. <laughs> I usually date like um, the oldest I dated was maybe, the oldest guy I ever dated was probably like eight years older than me. So um, yeah, I would never date like a guy more than that many years. Eight years is probably the max that I would ever date someone. So I just feel like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I am currently single, so yeah, I'm not talking to anyone right now. I'm not dating anyone right now. It's just me chilling, going to school, working, and just trying to graduate because it's my last semester, so I'm not trying to get caught up with anybody. So yeah, um, have I ever asked someone out? No, I've never asked anyone out. Um, I've always been asked out by like the guys always ask me out so and I just feel like it's better that way for me just because like I don't know like how to approach it like how do I ask someone out <laughs> so I'm gonna just leave that up to them because I don't know what I'm doing and so yeah I think that's all I have for you guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you for um, watching this and I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more um, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!